Oh, I want to give him a little more anger in his eyes. So I know I've got this, this image that has the rage in his forehead and eyes. I can just add a little bit of, his, of that shape from his eyes, you know, into the character. It's like we can really say, okay, that's a really cool moment that we're going to push the camera in and we're going to get all that. I mean, there are two fundamental changes for this game. The first is that it's a on a new piece of hardware. And the second is that it's a new character. And those, I think, are the, the seed decisions that almost every other decision we made is based on those two decisions. And they were probably made three years ago. With this uh, jump in hardware, you really have uh, you know, the expectations to uh, see what is next gen. And I think a lot of that is not just the better graphics, better lighting, uh, smoother. Uh, rendering, but the facial capture and the performances that are coming through, you know, just this fuller cinematic experience. You are not in control. One of the things that's really exciting is actually capturing the facial animation from the actors and actually getting all those nuances and everything that they bring to their performance and it just really helps set you in that world. We take scans of the actor uh, going through a range of poses, and we just really want what is that actor's uh, physiology capable of. We're using the moving points in space, but in a way that triggers the real nuances and micro-movements of what happens with the, the, the skin on the face. You can imagine if every one of these joints are doing that independently, you can have an infinite range of uh, possibilities of what the face can do. This is pretty freaking awesome. And you can see right here, where it says, okay, this is the area where there's tension, this is the area where a wrinkle is going to be coming through. You know, they've got the muscle over bone and, and skin and fat and unique things about how their face moves and when you get that full range of scans, it's cool to see them get triggered in by the motion just naturally. We just see awesome performances on the mocap stage and this time around, we're, I feel like we're getting that, we're getting closer. Whenever somebody has like this small moment of thought, it really, really shows. It's really exciting to be part of the first wave of this technology where we're grabbing the face and the body motion capture in the same sessions. We're getting results that are much smoother and that's really, really cool to see. You are not in control.